I am now showing you an example of a chart. This is the five minute chart of the British pound, uh, American dollar for pair for May 18, which is like, uh, uh, what's that, Friday, <laughs> three days ago? Yeah, exactly. So the indicator that I see in the bottom is the ATR, average true range indicator. Uh, so the average true range indicator is also another volatility based indicator. It's like a very simple to understand. This is why I placed it. So whenever the, <laughs> the indicator is high, this means that the price is, uh, is volatile. Whenever it's low, the price is quiet. So what do you see over here? Take a look. So these yellow arrows, I plotted them over there to show you a state when the market is flat, candles are relatively small, as you see. And at the same time, the average true range indicator is also very low. This means that, uh, I mean, since the average true range indicator is showing you like low levels, this means that the bars on the chart are pretty small. And this is very likely to be a quiet market situation when the Forex pair is not trending. And this is exactly what we're seeing. We're seeing flat market at the upper yellow arrow. But what happens next? That's what happens next. The ATR starts increasing because candles start expanding, right? They start opening, uh, 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 for example, at the beginning, we have an increase uh, over here. Then we have a decrease, another increase, and then the price enters like a big trend. So at the beginning, volatility starts expanding step by step, meaning that the ATR indicator is also decreasing, uh, which leads to a big downtrend. So this is how volatility and trends could be related uh, uh, in uh, forex trading.